It's getting uh, harder and harder for me to uh, watch uh, jokes about the banking crisis. I was watching John Stewart. He has a segment called uh, Clusterfuck to the Poor House. And uh, of course, that's what happened in the US. You know, at the same time that the bankers received 12 billion dollars uh, in bonuses, Elliot Spitzer explained that that's about the money that they get from the taxpayers. Of course, it's not the only money they got. And they keep rewarding themselves these high rewards and everybody's making jokes about it. But it's really not a joke. It's just like when you chop off somebody's leg and you make jokes about it, it might be funny, uh, but not if you're the guy with, with, with only one leg. And American society is crippled by the behavior of these banks. It is not being saved by them. Uh, many people are suffering and this whole money administration system that the banks are, because they, they you know, originally they uh, they said, well, if I can uh, safeguard your money, I will be able to invest it, and uh, the return on that investment will pay, pay for the safeguarding. So you pay very little for me safeguarding your money, uh, but uh, you know that's the deal. These days it's completely different. It's like uh, it, it's it's a part of the economy that sucks up money out of the economy, that uses it in a non-productive <laughs> productive way, in ways that you that they cannot really explain. Not even to themselves, because the Bear Stearns uh, collapse uh, left uh, the people there with uh, a computerized uh, system that was apparently worth uh, some 300 million or something dollars, but they couldn't figure out how it worked, so that money was basically lost. It's all a big maze, and you don't really need it. And I'm just surprised that in the 270 or 280 million Americans, there's not enough to simply rate the offices of Goldman Sachs, go in there and establish a governance of that bank that makes much more sense. And it's, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be violent, it just has to be the change. Because with every other company, it would make sense. If you have, a, let's say, a car company in Detroit in, in, the, in the boom period, and it's managed like crap, like total crap, to detriment to all the workers, they don't sell any cars, you immediately put in new governance of that company to make sure that it works for everybody in the community. Uh, but for some reason that's uh, impossible with banks, because uh, bankers are uh, special uh, individuals, they have uh, very high uh, intelligence and superpowers, and uh, well, that's all a myth, and you can of course uh, recognize that immediately. It just doesn't happen in the population that somebody suddenly is about 40 times more smart and or 200 times more smart, so he actually uh, deserves 200 times more uh, reward for his work. No, it's uh, and it's also not a very tough job, so you need to be rewarded very highly in order to keep it. You know, it's not like these bankers go home depressed because it's so hard to do their job and it's filthy and it's tiresome and it's dangerous and somebody has to pay them to do it. It's risk money. No, it's not risk money at all. It's basically stealing. It's just defrauding, it's deception, it's lies, it's deceiving people, and it's abusing uh, you, if you're in the US, but also me, because I, uh, through the European banks, we're all feeling the repercussions of the lies of the US. And it's just beyond me that there's not enough people, not even a crowd, a crowd of 20 people would be enough to make a difference in this uh, issue. So uh, that's a big surprise to me. and. And, and and I predict that people will stop seeing the humor in the jokes. No, you cannot really keep joking about that leg that you have been cutting off, or that you know I've I've still I've stolen all your money. That's funny, isn't it? It's not funny. It's theft, and you're not productive. You're not helping me. And right this time, it's the U.S. that that you know there's lots of opportunities that are not being exploited. Obama is doing a little thing about it. He's investing 180 million or something in clean energy jobs. He should be investing billions because that's, you know, you do a job and in the end of it you have free energy. So you can be nice and warm and you have low cost electricity and all that stuff. Uh, you know, there's plenty of ways for the US to go back to being a prosperous nation. They should stimulate manufacturing, local manufacturing, small, uh, small metal works, all kinds of stuff like that. It should be like Istanbul, and uh, you might think Istanbul, uh, that's a backward uh, country, Turkey, but it's a beautiful city, 
And every street you go in Istanbul, there's workshops and they're producing all kinds of stuff. And you know, if it's not produced in China, that's better for the US. It keeps somebody busy in the US, makes him productive and useful, makes him much more happy because you can uh, read that uh, a disproportional amount of young people are depressed and anxious and have overly optimistic views of the future. Yes, they do, yeah, because they've been lied to all their, uh, their lives. They're put into uh, colleges for exceptional high cost. And you know, the last thing is that if it's such a pivotal institution, a bank, that it has to be paid so much, you know, and it's so important for society that you can re not really let it fill, then of course it's an honorable job to work for that bank. So you should not expect these people to want to have much money, to want to earn money. It's like a minister, prime minister or something. It's just they have the biggest house, they have the most respect. But the opposite is true. They're hated and they're despised at the moment because they're just not doing their job very well. And that's because they don't want to, they just want to make a lot of money. And if that's the only goal you have in a company, then you know that this, peop this person is a, is a non-performing uh, money sink in your organization, and you should just replace him by somebody that uh, has a little bit more, uh, let's say, community feeling.